The Zips have just completed their game against Michigan with a final score of 28-24 at the Big House. Let's go to Coach Terry Bowden for her, his thoughts on the game. You, know, you talk about the moral victory thing. It, it, our team just, we, we, we have a building program. We have a building process when I've come, you know, and I, you know, I compare it to what Brady Hope went through when he was at Ball State. You know, he, t he takes over the job, 6-6 six, six job, and goes 4-8, 2-9, 4-8, 5-7, and before he starts winning. We've got a building job, and we've got to get better every single week. Uh, we've got to recruit, we've got to develop and get better and build our program better. Games like this are the result of us playing better football. Uh, and, and, and my dad used to tell me when you, as, when you take over a program that's down, there's four things got to happen. You got to lose big, then you're going to lose close, then you're going to win close, and then you're, then you're going to win big, and you got to go through that process. And that's, we're, you know, we're losing some close games, but we won a close game yesterday. But, but yes, now we will be in a tough battle every week. We're, we're not going to be able to go into a, a uh, a league where we got four or five that we just show up. Uh, but, you know, the, the easiest opponent in our schedule probably was last week and we won it on the last play of the game, you know. And I don't say they were, they were they're a good, a very good football team. So hopefully this will give us a little more confidence or a lot more confidence that we can build upon as we continue, uh, you know, because we've got a, uh, uh, the MAC conference is, that is, is the best it's ever been right now and the, and the quality of, of the competition in the conference is, is the best it's ever been. So this one's got to, we've got to build from it. We can't, we've got to build from it. and. Uh, take what we learned today, take the confidence that we gained today, and uh, then play even better next week and the week after. I'm, so, I'm sorry for our players because they, they, they've worked so hard and been through so much. Uh, and, uh, but I told them they had a chance to play the game of a, of a lifetime, and they did. And they played the game of a lifetime, and I'm sure down the road in their lives they will uh, look back and, and, and cherish that one more than the misery they're in right now. Um, just uh, defense kept us in the game by creating turnovers, uh, bowing up in the red zone, creating turnovers. Uh, and then offense, then offense just <laughs> kept got moving. Offense got moving, and we our, our, we had enough run to keep them honest, and we can throw we threw and caught throwing caught the ball well. No, I think with how our defense was playing in that first half before we were even ahead, I knew we could beat them because I knew I knew we could move the ball on them as soon as we got got our our offense straight. So I really was confident before we even went ahead because of how our defense was playing and how. We were moving the ball. We, were, we just weren't executing like we did in the second half right there at the beginning of the game. Um, we, we pulled out every bag of tricks that we had as far as the plays that we had in the, in, in the playbook to try to find someone to get open. And, and I thought our offensive line did a good job of giving our quarterback protection. Um, and, um, and we just, you know, we go inside and go outside and fake the short one and then spin and go deep and just try to, we just, we had a, we were, we, they were scoring. We had to have find lots of ways to make plays. We just don't turn the ball over. They, they score a bunch. Well, if we, if we don't turn the ball over on the end zone on touchdown, interception, miss two field goals, and get stopped on the one, we got a lot more points up there, too. So was, both teams did some things. Didn't probably score as much as they wish they had. Um, it was a uh, – it, it our punting was very good for field position. It was just – it was a, for our part, it was a, a great effort for, for everyone. I was so proud of, of our, our players. The Zips return home Saturday, September 21st against Louisiana Lafayette, kickoff at 6 p.m. For ticket information, call 1-888-99-ACKERN or visit ZipsTickets.com. For GoZips.com, I'm Chrissy Probonik.